I am beating the schnitzel. Oh, it's made from wheat. This is kind of like a parotta. I hate this guy. <laughs> so our water is boiling beautifully. Ooh. We are gonna sink those dumplings now. I call this the disco dance. This is the real deal, guys. Uh-oh. Looks like I messed up the recipe. <laughs> My safety glasses. The dove has landed. Look at these guys. It's time for lunch. Time for another must-eat dish from Germany. So now we're making the ultimate German dish, which is Schnitzel with Speckknödel und Preiselbeersoße. Let me translate Wait, this. Is it bear meat? I think I heard bear meat in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not bear meat. Schnitzel is usually made from all kinds of meats that we don't eat, but I am going to make it from chicken today. Cool. You, are you hungry, baby? I am ready for lunch, yes. Okay, because this is like a big dish, I might need your help. So the first thing we want to do is the knödel. Knödel are dumplings. We are actually making them kind of from scratch. This is kind of like a mix for the knödel. There's different types of knödel. We are making potato knödels today. There are also bread knödel. We take 750 milliliters of water. You can help me, baby. I need someone to whisk. I got you. Okay. So first you're pouring the water in. That's easy. That's probably the easiest thing I've ever done. <laughs> Why would you whisk the water? <laughs> you told me to whisk it. <laughs> now I am pouring in the powder and you need to whisk. Cool. It's very important that you put the water first and then only pouring the batter. Dude, it's like, it's getting thicker as a biscuit. Yes, you are making the knudel better. That's cool, man. The more I whisk, see how hard it gets? Now I have vegan bacon pieces. They look just like normal bacon and I'm gonna fry them with some butter schmaltz. What is butter schmaltz? The German ghee. Oh, the ghee stuff. Remember? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, in German you say this goes on the hips. Das geht auf die Hüften. Today we're just <laughs> making... So today you decided to fill up my hips. Yeah. <laughs> I'm only taking a little bit of butter schmaltz. My mom would have get a heart attack right now. My mom cooks very healthy. Okay, I think... The butter schmaltz is hot. We can now add the bacon. Oh, that looks good. I know. Dude, they even made it smell like bacon. I know, it's made from wheat. I think we need more bacon. Looks like our bacon is done. Now we are pouring the bacon. Oh my God, that got hard. I told you it was getting hard, you didn't believe me. Yeah, we are mixing the bacon under the dumplings. Do you need more water? No, 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 no. Not more water. We wet our hands and then it's dumpling time. You want to help, baby? We need to form balls out of this dough. Okay. Tasting it's super easy. You just make a dough ball like this. Like snowballs. Yes. Okay, Ash finished all the knudels. Some of these knudels look incredibly filled with bacon. You see that? <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my God, I think... <laughs> the mixing is not very equal. So our water is boiling beautifully. Ooh. And we are gonna sink those dumplings now. Aha, uh -huh, that's how you do it. I had to make some of them a little bigger. Okay. Ash made mini dumplings, but a knudel has to be big, guys. Can't make a wimpy ass mini knudel. Dude, I made a big one, then she was like, oh no, it's too big. <laughs> I am the expert here. <laughs> You're the apprentice. 
<laughs> Knudel apprentice. So guys, if you want to make a knudel yourself, you just need to cook it for a few minutes. Like it just needs to cook in boiling water very shortly. And then for 20 minutes, you just leave it on low heat. Mm. Ash, do you think you're going to eat all the 14 knudels today? Absolutely oh not. Oh my God. <laughs> We leave it for like this for like a few minutes and then we'll reduce the heat. Okay. Okay. What are we doing next? Oh, now is the best part. Schnitzel time. Okay. So I got some chicken here. Okay. And what are we doing with the chicken? So first of all, we're washing the chicken. These are already pre-cut into relatively thin slices, but a schnitzel has to be really thin. Now we are building a chicken station. So the chicken will have to go through four steps before we can call it the schnitzel. Step number one is beating it. Step number two and three. Step number two, two is flour, three is eggs, four is breadcrumbs, five is frying. So usually you would have like a ein Fleischklopfer. Maybe you want to say that. Ein Fleischklopfer. Very good. Which is like a wooden, stick with like wooden pokey pokes like i don't know like mm -hmm. thorns on it that's what you beat the schnitzel with i don't have that that's mm. why i'm using this suppenkelle what's this in english soup spoon soup spoon mm. i am beating the schnitzel wow so there is like wild discussions about it some people think this is a meat dish so you can't beat the schnitzel that much but my absolute pet peeve is thick schnitzel. I hate thick schnitzel. It's not that tender, not that nice. This is kind of like a parota. Remember guys, when I was beating the parota? Yes. I feel like homemakers invented all these things. It's probably not even needed because they were so <laughs> mad at their husbands. They're like, I hate this guy. <laughs> and then he was like, this is schnitzel. You know, you just beat the meat. How long do you do it? Well, yeah. yeah, also here that's dependent on, you know, who you learned it from. I think I made a hole in the schnitzel. I think we good. I don't want to make it too thin. This is like, okay. it mm -hmm. should be the size of a plate. You know, mm. there are some restaurants where you have a schnitzel that's bigger than the plate. I'm not into that. I think mine is pretty big already. Yeah. So why do we beat this? So it, that it becomes thinner. It becomes right. thinner and tender and more crispy. Yeah, that's just what you do. You want it to be relatively big and thin. This one is tough. He doesn't want to cooperate. <laughs> what did this chicken eat? Has really good fascia. I wish I had that on my upper thighs. So first, I'm adding some flour on a plate, just normal wheat flour. I need like two, three eggs. I think we'll be fine with two eggs for now. Do you have to beat the eggs? Yes, I kind of have to beat the eggs. If you want, you can add some cream also. And then lastly, breadcrumbs. You know, if you're really bougie, you make all of this from scratch, you know? Make your own breadcrumbs, you make your own egg. <laughs> Make your own flour, but we're not that booty. Baby, you want to have the honorable task of slathering the chicken? Never done it before. If you show me, I can probably do it. I'm whipping the eggs. I think we'll need more eggs. I don't know. So what's the first step? I'll show you with the small one and then you can repeat it. So okay. first we put it in the flour. Okay. Then we put it in the eggs. Okay. Then we put it in the breadcrumbs. Mm -hmm. This is the schnitzel. Step one is the chicken in the flour. It's a little bit cold. <laughs> you can give it warm thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> so we're dipping it in the wheat flour. Yes. Step two. Step two, we go to the egg. Get a nice even coating of the egg. Step three. Step 
Step three, make sure it's really well coated. Okay, then I will use my own technique. Okay, baby, wow. What's up with your technique? I call this the disco dance. <laughs> <laughs> it's where you take the parts that are not coated and specifically dip that into the breadcrumb. This is the chicken now and everyone who is on a diet should not watch how much fat I'm putting into the pan now. So here we say the, the schnitzel needs to swim in the oil. So it needs to be freely swimming around like in a swimming pool. So you want to make two fingers thick of butterschmalz. Really? Yes. I mean, that's how you fry things, right? You fry yeah. it in oil also. I didn't think we would be frying this. I thought we were going to just like heat it up on the pan. Well, you can heat it up on the pan, but usually a schnitzel is frittiert. And mm. frittiert is schnitzel. Mm. Mm. But there so it's are. It's fried. It's fried, yeah. There are ways how you can get like kind of pre made schnitzels and then you just like uh, cook them a little bit. But mm -hmm. um, this is the real deal, guys. You just gotta walk more, you know? Summer is melting mountains here. <laughs> you can see. <laughs> These mountains are, of ghee. These are the mountains of division between <laughs> countries. I am melting them all into the <laughs> schnitzel. <laughs> also, I, I still need fat for dinner. Maybe the schnitzel is just in a kid's pool. It's not like in the ocean, you know, <laughs> it's just swimming in the kid's pool. <laughs> should check out our knödel while we're at it. Yes. Oh, did you put the lid on this? Yes. You're supposed to cook this without a lid. Really? Yes. Uh-oh. Looks like I messed up the recipe. Yeah, they need some more time. How do you know when they're cooked? It's the texture. But okay. it, overall, like potato dumplings remain kind of raw looking, you know? Okay. Mushy? Yeah, mushy. I'm scared. Okay, baby, what's the next step? So we're gonna fry the chicken now. I'm just looking for some safety gear here. Like what? Found it. <laughs> My safety glasses. <laughs> okay. I can't see shit. I need to wash them. Let's do this. It's all for you, baby. It's all for me. Ooh. The dove has landed. So there are like hundreds of variations of schnitzel. You can add different like foods to schnitzel. Like, you know, you can add potatoes, you can add fries, you can add spätzle. Spätzle is like a German type of noodle. You can eat it with the sauce, you know, you can put it in the oven and bake other things on top of it. But this is kind of like the original way to make a schnitzel. You just fry it in the pan, okay? Everybody on position? Schnitzel turning time. Whoa. That looks so yummy. I know. Just look at that. Yes. So now we have to train the person. This is a difficult and dangerous task. So I'm letting a strong man do it. I actually smell the bacon. It smells like, wow, delicious bacon. It does? Bacon steam. Do I just drop all of it into the pot? No, yeah, best would be you did it. Look at these guys. Yummy potatoes, right? Potato wow. dumplings. Wow, really awesome. This is Wildpreiselbeere, so it's wild cranberry and we eat this with schnitzel. It's kind of like a jam with a very specific taste. So what do I eat first? So first you have to try the schnitzel, of course. Okay. Actually, the best would be if you get a bite of everything together. Like everything? The sch schnitzel with the sauce okay. and the knödel. Okay, let's do that. I take a piece of the schnitzel. 
some. Ooh. You see the consistency? Wow. I did not expect that. Yeah. That's crazy, bro. It's like, um, mm. it's like, I thought it would be like mashed potatoes, but it's not. It's like, mm. it's kind of like gelatin mashed potatoes. Mm. And then some sauce, right? Yes. Okay. Let's take a bite. This has all the good ingredients. Do you like it? Mm-hmm. Do you like the sauce with it? That's reminding me of Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Mm, I do like it. It's very, very yummy. Schnitzel is good. Oh, the potatoes. Wow, what a lovely flavor it has. Yeah, dumplings are the best. Knödel are the best. They're like sticky and gooey, mm -hmm. but also solid, like meat somehow. I know. Now we will try the, the schnitzel by itself. Oh. The meat is thin, it's so flavorful. You taste the crunchiness from the breadcrumbs. You almost don't have to chew it. That's how thin it is. Wow. Ma se poi questo raggio di luna non avrò all'amore. 